guys! Welcome back again to my YouTube channel, Explore and Floor! And for today's video, we are happy to share... We have some exciting news, yeah. And this is... Today was a big day for us. Yep. Um, so today, Abby, uh, we had her CRBA appointment, which is her uh, citizenship for USA She's appointment. Hi. <laughs> yeah. And she is now a USA citizen. She was yes. already a Filipino citizen. Yes. So we guys. got our approval today. Yay. Our CRBA approved today. So yes. we are happy. It is a celebration. Yep. A celebration. <laughs> Do you have Santa Miguel? I got Santa Miguel. I'm celebrating. <laughs> celebrating. <laughs> oh, hi, baby. Say hi, baby. Hi. So, yes, we actually had our appointment pretty early today. Uh, 7.15 in the morning. 7.15 in the morning. Um, it's been a stressful thing. Um, yeah, we're going to let Abby out of the photo, out of the video. Yeah. Um, so, we actually, if you followed any, um, or if you didn't post yet, right? The, the online application, no. No, the mail-in. Yeah, no. Okay, so we have a video that shows you how to do the mail-in application. Um, and then also, there's another video that's going to be showing you how to do um, a newer process, which is an the online, online application We had CRB. no idea. Yes. We had no idea that even existed. It's brand new. Like, May, I think it came about. Um, but she, we got videos on both of those, um, which we encourage you to watch. Um, I would say, would you agree? I would avoid doing a mail-in at this point. I would 100% do a uh, online. online. Um, we didn't know about yes. it. We did it. It was... We sent our packet ma uh, month of June yeah. 13. So it's been six weeks that we don't receive any update about our application. Yeah. So we tried to apply online and we are lucky guys that we got an appointment one day ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I literally um, am leaving the Philippines tomorrow um, so we had our appointment today. We got very lucky. Um, so we'll be saying this on another video when we show you how to go through the online process. But it took four business days and we got our appointment. Like they scheduled it way ahead or later, but it only took four business days to get our appointment. Whereas the mail-in, it was over six weeks, it I think. Six weeks. And we haven't heard a thing. So they didn't acknowledge they had it, nothing. Um, so definitely we recommend do the uh do the mail or do the online uh information and we once again we will do a video if you're interested to show you how to, to do that process yes and before we apply online we don't have any idea about uh yeah. the uh the process because it's so new yes um i you just found out online through no, facebook no i guess there's only uh one person on <laughs> facebook that i sent a message uh and she had uh, mentioned about the facebook group mm -hmm. of crba and i joined and then so i tried guys we tried the online application so yeah. yes so please watch it's that video if you have any questions on how that's done um we're I can't say we got every slide, but we got most of it in there. I kind of just did screenshots of as I went, um, and we can describe to you um, pretty much the process, and also uh, we'll describe the uh, the papers that we submitted um, in that process. And what this video is about is basically going to talk to you about from the moment you get to yeah. the embassy, like from outside, and what you need to do all the way in through your first quote-unquote like mini interview where you're showing paperwork up to the actual interview. So that's what this video is about. So once again, we are very excited. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm enjoying a Sam McApple, which I can't get back home. <laughs> so as we mentioned guys, our appointment is seven in the morning. So we book a hotel close oh, yeah. to the embassy. So the Red Planet? Yeah, yeah Red the Planet. Red Planet. It's 100% across the road from the actual embassy. The problem is you can't go directly across because it's a highway. Yeah. So you gotta cross the bridge. Cross the bridge. Um, there's a, there actually is a bridge still left if you stay at that red planet. 
that you can walk across. We did not know that. We yeah. went right, and it was a much farther walk. Um, but yeah, we got there. Um, so when we got there, what's the first thing they asked us outside? Uh, outside, I, we thought it's a long yeah. line because there's a lot of people Already. waiting it was like outside of embassy. In the yeah, it's early in the morning, but it's had different uh, what do you call it? Different visas. Different visas. Yeah, yeah, for CRBA, I it's just like in the list. I'm not sure. Maybe six or eight uh, people appointment. All day. Yeah, like mm -hmm. all day. All day. So our daughter is the first on the list. So our appointment seven fifteen. So they ask in the line, the first line, they ask what uh, what time your schedule or appointment, and then and what, what it was for. Yeah, and what kind or what you, what your purpose inside of the embassy. So that was a quick line to get through. Yeah. The next line or next guard, which was almost right away. Yeah, they asked for your um, appointment confirmation like or proof. payment for confirmation. So print that out. Yeah. Or have it on your phone, one or the other. But we suggest is print it. Yep. And then next, I guess the third one. No? The third one you go up towards the building itself. The building, yeah. For the we CRBA, thought we, we door thought, one. Yeah, we thought we just went right in, but there's another guard there. Apparently they weren't ready yet. Yep. So we sat outside. Um, other people were going in for other visas, but outside for the CRBA, they weren't ready yet. So eventually they did allow us to go in. Yeah. There's a um, security guards you got to go through, metal detectors, things like that. Yep. Um, so they'll check your belongings. You cannot bring a phone. Just keep that in mind. Um, if you found anyone that did, I don't know how, but they, they tell you you're not allowed to bring a phone in. Uh, what did we do there? Well, then they basically sent us around and we had to go through another security part. Remember? Yeah, they went through another security part. And that's where they took our spray. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they took our little hand sanitizer. We didn't think anything of it. Yeah. Um, and that's where we actually sent to the building. I'm sorry. That was before the building. Um, so anyway, so then we we went upstairs. It's on the second, the second level. Second floor, yeah. Um, there's a bunch of windows that might be different when you get there. We were at window 12. Yeah, I have CRBA, bless the guard, downst downstairs. So she said, uh, go to second floor. Nine to twelve windows. Yeah, and so, they will call you when it's your turn. Yeah, they will call the applicant name. So maybe we wait in there for a couple of minutes, and, and they call ten minutes, fifteen at most at that point. Yeah, uh, uh, yes, guys, and they called our daughter names. So it's easy. They just only ask for. By the way, some, this was the like kind of like the first. Yeah, first step. Pre-appointment. It wasn't the actual interview. Yeah. It's like a pre-interview. Where they were asking for paper asking proof. for paperwork, a uh, paper or documents. So it's just a Filipino, Filipi Filipino stuff in the window. So she's asking you for my pregnancy um, proof of a uh, proof of pregnancy, and also hospital bill. We so I don't that. have hospital bill. So I said no, I don't have. I have, but. I can't ring. Everything we've read up had never mentioned her yeah. videos. No one's ever mentioned anything about uh, bringing your hospital bill. So they did ask for that. Yes. It didn't affect us, but they did ask for it. And also they asked for a proof of physical presence of U.S. parents. So <coughs> what we provide is the W-2. And also they asked for um, mother and father U uh, passport. Now, by the way, while this was all happening, um, I had to go on a separate place. And I had to go, because we were getting the passport at the same time. So this was simultaneous. So they asked me if I could go pay for the passport while she stayed there and kind of showed these different things, which yeah. she'll talk about in a moment. To let you know what I did, I went to the window 15, and I had to pay $135 for the passport. Um, you do not get a passport on the spot. They got to mail it to you. But once I paid, then I went to something called Air 21. So the Air 21, I didn't quite understand what they meant by that, and then they had to point me in the right direction. But basically, I went over there. This is where they want your child's name spelt correctly, um, both parents' names spelt correctly. So this is exactly what you're going to see on the passport. Um, even if you already filled stuff out, they do it there anyway. They don't care. Um, what else? They wanted your address. Uh. They no. wanted your local address, local phone number, and then I had to pay an additional 240 peso. By the way, when it comes to paying for the $135, 
they give you the option to do peso, right. and I can't remember what the what the conversion rate was at the moment because that's going to always change. Or they said 135 hours. I just said the 135 hours. But when you go over to the Air 21, there was no exchange. You had to pay in peso, and it was 240. Yeah. The Air I 21 guess that's is the courier yeah, who the carrier will send. Fee. The, maybe the passport or the certificate of our daughter us. <laughs> <laughs> so we have our niece here watching her, so it's not just letting her alone. Um, so while I just finished filling out a lot, she was over there the whole time still talking in the mouth. Yeah. So what else did they ask you? He asked me for proof of our relations, uh, relationship. So I provide our photos together. Uh, Facebook post, YouTube blogs, and what else I Yeah, chat, call logs. Yeah, these are all different proofs. Yeah. By the way, I'm not being rude. <laughs> she's not feeling the yeah, best, so okay. she doesn't want to drink a beer right now, or else I'm guaranteed she would enjoy <laughs> a salmon <Sammy> apple. <laughs> so I guess that's it. Okay. Yeah. So once that was done, we sat down, and it was. I have another. Oh. Uh, she asked also the day of conception. So she asked if we travel. I said yes, we travel Quran. And she asked what date. So I remember because I have I have a paper of oh. our travel. Our travels. Yes. Yeah, so I check it. So and also and she asked. When are you back in Manila? So I forgot to eat. So I'm I'm holding the paper, but I don't know because of Abby's crying that time. I don't see the date. So in our check in in the hotel, I said um um August twelfth. So August twelfth. So make sure, guys, that uh you know the day, the date of conception, or the date that you are together, that time of conception. They, did they ask about work or something? Was that no. Okay. Yeah. All right. So once again, once we were done that kind of like pre-interview, I guess you could say, where it's your paperwork, and they do keep some stuff. Remember, they what do they yeah. keep? They keep um, proof of. You gotta have copies of stuff. Both of our passport and copies. They count. Yeah, the requirements, guys, just like proof of pregnancy, relationship, and. Your physical presence, that is W2. Yeah. I guess that's it. Yeah. So, they, like I said, they kept that. Um, you definitely want to bring your passport, another ID, like a driver's license or... Uh, it's only the ask but they just passport. Had, that's all they really asked for, for, for the actual physical presence. All right. So then we, we literally sat down, I'm going to say it was a half hour. Yeah. You know, trying to keep Abby busy and quiet and wasn't easy right yeah so eventually they did call us um, so our original point was at around 715 at this point it was probably 840 ish yeah, I can't remember 830 840 when they actually called us for the interview um, and that went super fast super easy the the lady that we had a US um, worker if she was US she was American I think she was like Virginia or West Virginia she was from I hate to say I can't remember her name very nice she loved her job loves talking to a bunch of people and we just got to we just got to basically randomly talking and I think by just randomly talking she understood that the relationship was real um, and everything like that yes, you just only uh, uh, what did I ask for they only how we met she how asked we how met. we met that was really the only major yeah. question, right? Yeah, how we met, when we get engaged, yeah. and about your schooling? Oh yeah, she asked about where I went to school. And she just said, did you ever go to school outside of USA? And I said, no. And that was... Yeah, that or was it's our first child. Oh, she did ask if I ever traveled outside of, or, of the USA or something like that. Or if uh, I've ever been anywhere. Yeah. No, if I ever lived abroad, that's what it was. Yeah, or we... Oh, if we were ever married or married, had a child before. Yeah, before. But these are simple questions, and it was very, very, very quick. We were probably in her office for 10 minutes, maybe yeah. 12. It was super fast. Um... And she was like, all right, guys, I'm happy to let you know. Yep. Um, your daughter's approved. She is now a USA citizen. That means she's dual citizen. And then Floor here, 
laughed at me a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she kept looking at me. Yeah, because I, I saw you. Oh, she's, she's. He, cr she. Yes, yeah, she. <laughs> yeah, this Filipino though. He, she, she, he. <laughs> so because I saw him mm. crying, so just like. There was something why? in my eye. Yeah. Why are you crying? So. And I see the console, it's just like there's also tears, maybe she touch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because we're happy guys that you know It's a stressful process. Yeah. We don't know how long it's gonna take. Before we apply online, we prepare a lot of papers because we don't know a lot of research, what are the requirements and also uh, uh, creating account before you apply was, online. There's a lot of nerve wracking yeah, finding out. So, and you just never know what would be that one thing that they're gonna say no about. And all of a sudden you're denied. It was just, it was, so when she said we're approved, it was like, oh my goodness, huge relief off. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so now Abby is officially a USA citizen. Um, she has one year to come to America um, on that approval. So they end up mailing your passport and your, yeah, and the um, citizenship, they'll mail them separate and you have to have a local address that they mail them to. Um, so we we have a, a place here that they're gonna mail our stuff to. So now our next big worry is just waiting on that K-1 visa. K-1 visa, so, so free for So we, app yes. we applied October in, in 2022. Uh, we're hoping, yep. maybe by New Year, <laughs> we're hoping. Um, February maybe, hopefully not March, maybe earlier, but yeah. So once that gets approved, that'll be another huge, huge, huge thing. Yeah, it's it's about closing, uh, closing the distance. Because yes. <laughs> you never know what they're gonna say no to. It's just like, <laughs> it's very nerve wracking and it's a long process. The long but process. The interview. Process. The interview. Once you're there, it, it, if you have the right paperwork, it is super easy, super smooth. Do not stress about it. Once again, we will put up a video showing the online process and the things that you will need to know about that. Um, yeah, and also I want to thank the lady that I always oh, yes. talk on Facebook, but I don't ask uh, her name. So if In you watch Facebook this group. video, yeah. thank you so much because it's a big help. You know, every um, requirements or documents that I'm not sure uh, I always ask for so thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And now our baby CRB got She's a dual so citizen. <laughs> we're blessed. Yeah, we're blessed. So that's it, guys. guys. We hope this helps. Thank you for yeah. watching. And we are happy to yes. share you about. Oh, real quick, an address. Um, I would say, guys, no shorts, but I saw tennis shoes, jeans, t shirts. Most people wore a collar, button-down yeah, shirt, and slacks, but I saw plenty of people in jeans. I saw t-shirts. Yeah, I jeans saw and tennis shoes. Fine, yeah. But we dressed much more <laughs> nice, I guess yeah. you'd say. We didn't dress up, dress up, but dress nice. But anyway, just want to throw that in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thank you for watching, guys. And Good luck those, in your journey. Yeah, for those who also applied for CRBA. Uh, I know, guys, I feel... Uh, your stress, but uh, once you get approved, it's what do you call that? Relief. Uh, a relief. Once again, if we once we get that video up, please watch it. It'll help out a lot, as well as our the interview or the uh, what is it called? The mail in. Yeah. The mail in. We show a lot more on what we sent in too. So thank, thank you guys you for watching, and good guys. luck on your journey. Thanks for watching. Bye. Please share. Bye. God bless.